Hey everybody, this is Unit 5, Formative 2, Day 3 Notes. We're going to be talking about the quadratic formula today. Okay, so your quadratic formula is right here. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And these b's, a's, and c's come from um, your, your formulas that we've been using. So... Everything that we've been doing has looked like this, where a, b, and c were some number that we already had replaced there. So some number x squared plus some number x plus some number. So a, b, and c would just get plugged into your formula. Okay, your discriminant is just the number that goes underneath the square root. So the b squared minus 4ac part. And we'll deal more with that um, when we start doing some problems. But... Basically, if the discriminant is less than zero, there are no solutions. If the discriminant is going to be greater than zero, there's two solutions. And if the discriminant is equal to zero, there is one solution. Okay, so in other words, if the number underneath the square root is less than zero, there's no solutions. Greater than zero is two. Equal to zero is one. Okay, so let's start doing some problems using the quadratic formula. This is a method that will work with every single problem you use. The nice thing about it is because it will work with every problem, but it tends to be a little bit lengthy if you don't know how to plug it in your calculator quickly. I will show you a quick way to plug it in your calculator to make it nice. Um, it works on every single problem. So those problems that you were getting prime for an answer, you no longer have to worry about that because... Um, you don't have to worry about it being factorable anymore. You can just plug the numbers into the formula. So, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, a is going to be the number out front here, so it's just a 1. So, a equals 1. b is negative 6. And c is going to be negative 10. So those numbers came from before the x squared, before the x, and then just a single number. So we're going to plug it in to our quadratic formula. So x equals opposite or negative b would be positive 6 plus or minus the square root b squared. I like to do that part in my head. So negative 6 squared just gives you positive 36. b squared will always be positive. Minus 4 parentheses a is 1 and c is negative 10. So every single time, please write it out to look like this, all divided by 2a. So 2 times 1 gives you 2. Okay, so again, I did a couple things in my head there. I took the negative 6 squared. So right here, I took the b squared. I did that part in my head. I took negative 6 squared to give me 36. I also took 2 times a, so 2 times 1 to give me a 2 right here. Okay. So now you're going to simplify just underneath the square root. So in your calculators, you would type in this, 36 minus 4 parentheses, 1 parentheses, parentheses, negative 10, parentheses, and then you would hit enter. Okay? So in your calculator, that's what you would do. When you do that, you're going to end up <clears throat> with 76. Okay, so now I'm going to rewrite this as 6 plus or minus the square root of 76 all over 2. Okay, so now I'm going to start plugging in my calculator again, and I'm going to end up with my two answers. Because from here, you can plug it in your calculator to get your answers. You're going to say 6 plus, and then you're going to hit a second key, and then you're going to hit the square root key, okay? Or, in other words, it's x squared key. It's actually the x squared key on your calculator. You're going to hit second and then the x squared key. And then you're going to type in 76. And then you're going to hit enter. And then you're going to divide by 2. Okay, so 6 plus second key, square root key. And then you're going to hit 76, enter, divide by 2, and then enter again. And you're going to get... 7.36 is your answer. Okay, you're going to do the same thing now, except this time you're going to change that minus sign to a plus, or a plus sign to a minus sign in your calculator. And now it's going to get, when you do that, you're going to get negative 1.36 is your answer.
And those would be your two answers. So you no longer have whole numbers like we're used to. It's all about being able to plug it in your calculator, which I will show you again in class. But um, your main idea for this video is being able to set it up. Okay? We'll worry about calculating it in All right. So here we have um, another problem. We're going to say A is 3, B is negative 5, and C is negative 9. By this point, you should have the quadratic formula written down in your notes, so I'm not going to rewrite it on this slide. We're just going to plug it in. So x equals opposite b, which is 5, plus or minus the square root. Okay, b squared, so negative 5 squared would be 25, minus 4 times a times c. Remember, the 4 is part of the equation, so don't think that I'm getting that from anywhere, or part of the quadratic formula. Don't think I'm getting that from anywhere right here. Okay, so the 4 right here is part of the quadratic formula. All divided by 2 times a, which is going to be 6. Okay, let's figure out what goes under the square root. So again, in your calculator, you're going to type in 25 minus 4 parentheses, 3 parentheses, negative 9 parentheses, just like you see it. So all we're doing is figuring out what goes under the square root here. So I can rewrite 5 plus or minus square root all over 6. And I'm just going to figure out what goes underneath there. And when you do that, you're going to end up getting 133. Okay, for this problem, we can actually talk about the discriminant now. The discriminant in this case would be 133. And since it's greater than 0, we're going to end up with two solutions. Okay? All right, so we're going to finish this problem. Type it in your calculator. We're going to take 5 plus second key, square root key, 133, divided by, or enter, and then divided by 6, and you're going to end up with 2.76 is one answer. Do the same thing except minus the next time, and you're going to get negative 1.09. Okay, so again, I will show you how to type it in your calculator more in class. Worry about setting it up right now. And you should be able to get to the point where you figure out what this number here is. Okay? All right, and our last one here that we're going to do. First, we want to get it in standard form, so make it equal to 0. So that means we have to add the 11 over. So we get 2x squared minus 18x plus 11 equals 0. A is negative 2, B is negative 18, and C is 11. So x equals opposite of B, so 18 plus or minus the square root. Um, 18 squared, or 18 squared is going to give you... 324 minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a, so negative 4. Figure out what goes underneath that square root, and you're going to end up with 412 all over negative 4. Make sure you are typing in all the correct signs. So when you type that in your calculator, make sure you don't forget the minus 4 and the negative 2 when you type to figure out what the discriminant is here. Okay, again, discriminant is greater than 0, 412. So therefore, we know we should have two solutions. So we're going to get x equals and x equals. We should end up with 0.57 and negative 9. 0.57 is our two answers when we plug that into our calculator. Okay, if you guys have a calculator at home, great. You guys can practice solving these right now. Just hit replay the video and see if you can end up with the same answers I got. If you can, great. If you don't have a calculator, don't stress out about it. We will um, work more with it in class. All right, make sure you guys took notes, get these written down. We will see you later.